be uh, surprising at all that uh, the Kremlin there in Moscow, in Russia, very critical of more support going to Ukraine. Let's speak now to Yuri Sack, an advisor to Ukraine's uh, Ministry of Defence. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Let's start with this phrase then that Vladimir Zelensky used, Jets Coalition. What does he mean by that? Well, Vladimir Zelensky means by that phrase that overall in the world there are more than 4,000 F-16 fighter jets. F-16s are the most universal, the most versatile, the most multi-role platform which is really, really important for any kind of military operation. So when our president says that it is time for the coalition of free nation to start building a jets coalition, he's following the already good precedent of building a tank coalition. And I would like to use this opportunity to once again thank the people of the United Kingdom, the government of the United Kingdom, personally Rishi Sunak and Ben Wallace for taking the leadership in creating a tank coalition with your Challenger 2 tanks, which are already on the battlefield helping Ukrainian forces liberate our land. And of course, now we've received the Storm Shadow long-range missiles. That was another example of UK leadership. And now we are hoping that, you know, with the training of pilots, which has been announced, uh, UK will take leadership in the formation of the Jets coalition as well. Okay. I think that and is what you, our president meant. Are you frustrated with how long this has taken? Well, uh, if you ask our pilots, uh, frustrated doesn't go anywhere near describing their emotions. But uh, And this is because we know that, for example, the training of pilots would have started a long time ago. We understand very well that fighter jets are a very complex capability. For every F-16 pilot, you need about 25 engineer crew. We understand that there's a lot of logistics to be done. But at the same time, certain things could have been happening already, and we would have had already a couple of squadrons of Ukrainian F-16 pilots. But we hope that we will catch up now. And um, I just want to get your reaction to uh, Moscow, to what Russia have just released in response to this, basically saying uh, this support from the UK is going to be more death and destruction in Ukraine? Well, look, uh, we understand that Russia is in a state of panic right now. We understand that Russia sees that the international community's support for Ukraine is unwavering and only increases. Look at the packages that have been announced. Germany over two billion yesterday. Uh, we have new support from the United Kingdom all the other countries in Europe and elsewhere providing Ukraine with military support. Now, look, for us, for Ukrainians, we have made for ourselves a very clear decision a long time ago. We will fight it out ourselves. We will not ask our partners to provide us soldiers. So for us, the most valuable thing that we have is, of course, our soldiers. For Russia, Russian soldiers are expandable. They are used as cannon fodder. For us, our soldiers are invaluable because we are losing you know, some of our best IT guys, doctors, businessmen. So we will proceed carefully and we will use the Western high precision, sophisticated weaponry to ensure that we liberate our land with most destruction on the part of the enemy okay. and minimum losses on our side. So I'm afraid we're almost out of time, but I just want to ask you one very quick question, if you can. This, yeah. this counter-offensive, this spring offensive that we've been talking about for a long time, is it the fact that Ukraine just simply still isn't ready? The counter-offensive is not an event uh, which you could clearly see the start of with a uh, you know, blow of a whistle. Uh, some things, some so-called shaping operations have already begun. Look at what is happening now in and around Bakhmut. Now, Bakhmut is a city that Russians have been trying to capture for 10 months. Now we are counterattacking and taking over, you know, a couple of square kilometers a day. Now, that is also uh, our offensive actions, and there is more to come. I see. more we receive, yeah. Thank you very much, I'm afraid. We do have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your insights. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming on talking to us. You reached out there. Thank you.